Hi there and welcome my friends to Queen's Wish the Conqueror, a new game that is coming out on the 11th of September, Spiderweb Software's Jeff Fogel. I'm going to start a new game here. Well, what is it? It is a party based, you can have up to four party members game, um, that brings into the role of the son of a queen that is sent out to help the empire develop and to make a name for himself and we're gonna make that guy look like somehow I looked when I was younger a little bit but that's Let's see. So, there's that. I have a lot shorter <laughs> hairs right now. <laughs> but this is fun, it looks like. I mean, he is a very young man, just coming of age. So, we're playing like that. And there's different difficulties. They're always very well balanced in these games for Spiderweb software. So casual is the story mode. Um, well, foes will still be somewhat of a challenge sometimes. Normal is balanced. It's a nice moderate difficulty level as uh, people who don't want a huge challenge but don't mind the game pushing back sometimes. That's how we want to start. Then there's veteran. Hard difficulty setting for someone experienced with role-playing games. Everyone just want to chill look into that because the game is really motivating and cool and deep in the story and so on. It's not that cool for watching, but it is so cool to play. But that is harder and if I would play alone and not show it, I would definitely start on Veteran, but not on Torment because Torment is basically the number cruncher level. You have to use every tick trick, utilize every ability to defeat the nasty enemies arrayed against you. Yeah, that's extremely hard. So let's go. Normal. The Empire of Haven rules a full eighth. The known world. Queen Shireen rules Haven absolutely. Oldest son will become king someday. But that's not us. Oldest daughter is Sharon Sage and most trusted advisor. Queen Sharon III, your mother. That's our brother. And that's maybe us, I don't know. Queen Sharon III buys the loyalty of all the small nations she can reach. If they refuse her, Haven, Haven is wealthy enough to pay armies to make them her vassals. None of this concerns you. You have lived a life of comfort, hiding from the responsibilities that ever threatened to crush you. You have had a peaceful life of decadence, of being the reserve prince basically, until today. Until today. Oh, sister, we love it. That, she looks so sympathetic. I, she looks so... Right? I mean, she looks like she's your friend. And that's what she is. You'll soon find, find out. And she's also well-meaning, which can be unnerving, but still. Welcome to Queen's Wish. We have a long day ahead of us. First, we need to learn how to move around. We'll just click somewhere, and that's going to be that. Your older sister, Princess Delia, stands by the door, watching you. She has on her best reassuring expression. Good morning, young prince. I'm sorry for disturbing you. It is almost noon. Ah, uh, what's going on? Is something wrong, Delia? Our mother wishes to see you immediately. Get dressed. Go to the throne room now. Fine, but what's going on? I have no idea, she lies. No lying in bed all day for you, I'm afraid. Hurry, out into the hall, on your way. She insists. Oh no, what does mother want? I would not presume to speak for our queen. 
I advise, I don't order. Get going. Fine, I'm going. Princess Delia steps to the side to watch you pass. She starts to say something, but then she stops. She looks sad. What's going on today? Cecilia still looks sad. She tries to talk, but nothing comes out. She just nods toward the door. That's not good news. As you stumble out of your bedroom, the royal insignia of Haven slowly fades into being on the chest of your jerkin. This happens no matter what you wear, always, even when you don't want it to. A fairly simple bit of magic worked on you and your siblings by your mother. She insists ah, <laughs> I'm sorry, that you bear the crest of Haven everywhere you go. Something about the mystique of the royal house. Yeah, I crushed my my milk whirl thing because I like to drink cocoa and so that. Right. You try to open the door only to find that it is locked. This makes no sense. You are a prince of Haven. No chambers are ever locked to you. Except those of Queen Sharon herself. Ah. Okay. Another locked door. In your short life, you have become an expert at finding ways to sneak out of the palace, yet somehow all of your regular escape routes have been blocked. What? This is well. Whoa. Oh. Uh, that's the map. That's the map. That's where we are. We're in Havenlands. It only goes forward here. This is the dueling hall. For centuries, when a dispute could not be settled peacefully, lords and ladies of Haven came here to resolve arguments in the most final way. A man is waiting for you. You are shocked to see your older brother, Prince Sutter. He's next in line to the throne, and he's almost never in Sharon's palace anymore. He's got too much to do. What does this all mean? It doesn't mean anything good. The throne room is just ahead on the left. You groggily enter the dueling hall, hoping to get this ordeal quickly over with. Someone moves to stand near way. It is your older brother, Prince Sutter. Back from some war or other urgent business of Haven's empire, he walks up, gives you this standard hearty grin and says, Greetings, Prince. Well, um, hello, Sutter, back from some marvelous bit of heroism. Well, someone has to help run Haven's empire, Emmanuel can. Many lives outside these luxurious walls depend on us. But that doesn't mean I can't take the occasional break for family. That is why I rushed home when Mother told me of the glorious event. What a glorious event. He ignores the question. That aggravating grin is still on his face. He nods toward the box by the north wall. A demonstration, I suppose. All must take part. Your sword is in the box. Get it and ready it. That sword? Ah, well, fine, I'll play along. Sutter gives you the royal nod, the one he gives as a rare reward to underlings who perform well. You don't care. Just get the sword ready, brother. The sooner you do, the sooner this can all be over with. Let's take the sword. See, it's all tutorial-like. We've got the sword. Sutter sees that the sword is ready. He laughs. Well, Emmanuel Khan, let us see how useful your expensive education was. He claps his hands. There's a puff of smoke in the center of the dual yielding hall. A moment later, a giant, horrible spider has appeared. As Sutter laughs heartily, the thing lunges toward you. <gasps> there it is. Trapdoor spider. Ow! What the? We'll use an ability. Brutal blow. You're victorious. To exit combat mode, press the end combat button. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it with a brutal blow. What does this mean? Sutter. Nudges the dead spider with his toe. As you bandage your wounds, he says, Not too bad, Prince. Your education left you with some practical skills, I see. 
We will glare. Sort of laughs. Oh, Emmanuel can. My position as heir to the throne gives me so few amusements. Don't begrudge me on one last little prank before you see Mother in. But enough delays. It is time. Time? You hear a click from the west door. The door to the throne room. Mother awaits. Oh, Mother awaits. Okay, okay, okay. All right, Mother awaits. Ah, oh, goodness. Can we take something from here? No, doesn't look like it. Then let's go visit Mother. You enter the throne room to find court is fully in session. Your mother, Queen Sharin, sits ramrod straight on her customary stool. Guards around her. They look at you with their customary disdain. The queen waves you forward. Prince Emmanuel Khan, please, it is time for us to speak. Come in, my child. And I suppose this is locked. I have a gift for you. Okay, 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 okay. You come before Queen Sharin, total monarch of the Empire of Haven and all of the lands it owns, savior of your people, scourge of your foes and your mother. As you come close, she gives you a tiny nod. Prince or not, custom demands that you kneel now. We won't kneel. What do you want, mother? The royal guard becomes even more stiff and statue-like than usual, quietly shocked by this public display of insolence. Your mother isn't faced. She is used to it. Well, my young prince, there is a matter we need to discuss. It is important. Sorry, I am a little off balance. A spider trust tried to eat me. A tiny smile. Only one who has known her as long as you have would detect it. Ah, Sutter and his pranks. Still, we had to make sure you are fully awake. Ah, mother, don't you usually do your business with my brother and sister? Yes, too much so. I've come to believe Sutter and Delia are invaluable to me. Their happiness comes from knowing that they have value. You will now join the family. I'm giving you a job. A job? Why? We have done you a disservice. I see now that you will only work as hard, be as strong as you are forced to. You are, in other words, a normal person. This is no crime. Haven has bits of unfinished business, waiting for us to have time and resources to tend to them. That time is now. Unfinished business? We had a valuable colony on the continent of Sacramentum, over the sea to the west. This colony was ruined in a great calamity. Strange forces destroyed our crops. Our vassal states rejected us. Only a few of our people remain there, hungry and besieged. Ah, lost colony, one you lost, if I recall. The guards grow nervous. For most people, saying those words here would mean time in the dungeons. For you, Sharin only shakes her head. Yes, they were lost on my watch. I'll see now that my errors are corrected and our vassal states resume their duties to us. But what does this have to do with me, mother? In the garden to the west you will find an enchanted portal. It will carry you to Sacramentum. There you will take command of what is left of our colony. You will rebuild our forts, raise forces and reclaim all the land we have lost. Why are you doing this to me, mother? Oh, my child. You're getting old, and time runs shorter than you know. Your life, your true life, must begin. This is the only solution. The portal waits for you. Ah, uh, um, it's about time that you trusted me. Yes, I can see that. I believe you have greatness in you, Immanuel Khan. I always did. Now it will have to come out. You hear a click from the door to the west. It is now unlocked. The portal is waiting. Oh, my child, I wish the best for you. Good fortune. Oh, mother. Ah. Uh, are we enthused? I don't know. We don't want to go. You stumble out into the West Hall. Dazed. Nothing seems real. You wonder if this is all some prank. And you see your sister waiting for you just ahead. You see the look on her face. It is entirely real. Sister. Delia is waiting for you in the hall to the portal. As usual, she is infuriatingly concerned about your well-being. Manuel Khan, how are you? Are you all right? Ah. Uh, I mean, 
I have second thoughts. Can you get me out of this? He firmly grabs you by the hand. Immanuel Kant, this is happening. The queen commands it. Only minutes remain. Soon you will be in a wild land. You have so much training, so much potential. Steal yourself. What if someone there just kills me? Our mother is not so careless. You have had powerful protective enchantments placed on you. One after another. Starting from birth. You will find you are powerful and very hard to kill. This is a small advantage, but I think you will need it. When can I come home again, princess? I don't know. I know there's a portal in Sacramentum. You can use it to speak with us, thank God. Get information and advice. I believe you will be able to use it to get home eventually. You may need to find help to recharge it. Until then, you will have to deal with Sacramentum. I'll need your advice, dear. When you find the portal, you can talk to us. All three of us. We want you to succeed. We love you. I promise. With one hand, she wipes her eyes. With the other, she points to the west. Go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We'll go, I guess. It's the only door. Or can this door be open? No, another locked door. But we will try. It's, there's no avail. Maybe this door is open. You spent much of your childhood playing in this garden. The stone portal to the north was always closed. You hid behind it a thousand times. It was to be used for emergencies or missions of great importance. This is the very first time you have seen it open. For you, your brother stands by it. Its raw energy makes his hair stand up. Oh, brother. Great adventure. I'll give you your great adventure. This is crazy. Let's flee. Nah. But we have a wooden buckler at least. That will help a bit and some money. Hey, Sutter. Sutter waits by the portal with a stupid grin. You give him a good look. No, he's faking it. He's not faking it. The Queen's heir is truly enjoying this. Oh, cheer up, Immanuel Khan. This is going to be glorious. You'll see adventures, exploration, the thrill of command. All with the full power and support of Haven behind you. And who will tend to me while I'm there? Well, we threw your butler through the portal ahead of you. <laughs> Stonehouse wasn't happy, but it is his job. Well, I can just refuse, you know. Nope, I'll throw you through, through the portal if I have to. We've kept you a child too long. It's time. Before you go, I have some advice. You can choke on your advice. Now Sutter is really enjoying himself. He steps back. Suit yourself. Into the portal you go. I can't wait to see how things go. Okay, goodbye. Where are we now? In Fort Haven. You stumble through this dusty room, trying to clear your head. Magical teleportation is infamous for causing dizziness and splitting headaches. You regain your senses and look around. You are in a fort. The walls are rough wood. This is a prison. Posts with chains line the walls, waiting for prisoners, awaiting judgment. It's late at night and mostly quiet. You emerge and get a look at the rest of the fort. You've landed in the right place. Soldiers of Haven built this place. However, most of the buildings have crumbled or been torn down for firewood. It will have to be rebuilt. There are no people in sight. You hear a shout. Something is happening in the, th in the northeast. Uh, in the northeast, in the northeast. What is going on there? There's Chief Miranda. The main hall of this fort remains standing, old and worn down, but intact. The chief of the fort stands out front, her back to the door, sword drawn. She's facing two brigands, shaggy brutes in leather jerkins, stalking her daggers out. One of them says, we know you've been giving payments to Brandon. The rusty barb will have its share, Miranda. You have never been too involved in the ways of Haven, but it is hard to see this treatment of your soldier and not be annoyed. Yeah, we don't want her to die, too. Excuse me. The brigand doesn't hear you. He says to the chief, put that sword away. Even if you kill us, Clocar will just send 20 more. And you know it. 
speak again. All three of them turn to look at you. Ah, uh, well, wait. The brigands take a step forward. Well, don't you look clean and fancy? New to these wastes will tell you the rules. I'll tell you the rules. Leave her be. This is annoying already. The brigands laugh. Oh my, you're a hero. Well, that kid will take your sword and your clothes. Chief Miranda stares at their backs. She's doing some very quick calculating. And we're a little bit over the top now. I guess it's good I was able to warm up with attack. As you lunge forward, Miranda attacks at the same time. He's the chief of the fort, a manager, not a fighter. Happily, she seems competent with a blade. Now, let's, let's, I don't know. Go for a blinding blow. Here we go. Kaboom. Weak now. And ah, uh, well, the brigand's nearly dead. Let's kill it. Ow. There we go. The brigands are dead. Miranda gives each of them a good kick, and we'll see to cloak our next. She turns to you, kneels, and bows her head. I don't want you to presume, but I think you are you. Yes, yes. Just rise. I need information. Chief Miranda rises, but her head stays bowed. Of course, I'll tell you everything you need. I knew that our mighty queen would send help someday to save this colony from total loss. Ah, um, well, well, I just want to see. I'm here to investigate, then I'll decide what to do. Chief Miranda nods. That is all I can ask for. I think you will find that your, our situation here is very... Very, very bad. Please come to my office. I will tell you all you want to know. Lead on. She rises, turns and enters the main hall. Ah. Ah, we need to close the combat, of course. Well, that said, that seems to be a good place for a pause. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We'll see each other in the next episode where we talk to Miranda and Stonehouse, our butler, and maybe, maybe there will be more happening. All open, I'm playing this blind, and I'm really enjoying it again. Spiderweb Software's Queen's Wish. Have a great time until next time, and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan, signing out. See you soon, my friend.